almost get late here uh, to attend this meeting. Dahil talagang, I really just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Pero, woke up like this, uh, work. But anyway, last night, oh no, tonight we are going to talk about Hilot towards the heart. So, it will be a participation or, or a discussion of how we perform Hilot. No? Although, when we say Hilot, I think you have uh you have read no it's not just about massage but we take it as uh what do you call this we take it as as people know about helot people will think that it is a form of massage no so in in in, in uh, um as a rule of massage it has been taught i think you also know april how to do massage diba right? Uh, little uh, bit. Uh, the, a little um, bit. Chinese medicine, we do twina. Uh oh, uh, uh. that's right. So, <laughs> of course, OJ Katbagan, uh, aside from being a life coach, I know you are also a massage therapist. You know massage. Okay. So, in massage therapy, it has been taught that you always massage towards the heart, right? Then, for us, also, in Hilot, we do the same, but it has more deeper meaning of healing people from our heart towards their heart. It means you do things that you really wanted to do, no? And that I'm just using this, uh, this title to, to, to give an introduction or to go beyond what you are reading right now, no? And uh, give you some expectation of what you are about to do in Hilot, no? Since this is a non-contact Hilot, uh, mind and uh, spirit working, um, I want to have an idea from yourself of how we do things, no? Such as on Unit 2, it's more on diagnostic procedures. I think on every modality, we have diagnostic procedures. But when we say diagnostic procedures, um, it is a method where we determine the cause of illness, right? So in, I want to ask, for example, in Twina or on, 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 in, on the modality that you are taking now, how would you treat a person? Or how would you determine the cause of illness or yeah before formulating a certain treatment plan the, can you give some example or yeah of of how you diagnose a person in in your own modality uh, sure or, um so we use all our senses um we look at the person what like like everything um color skin hair if it's dry if uh if it's like wet or whatever diff um and then we we smell and we listen to how their voice sounds or um that kind of thing their breathing and then we use pulse diagnosis also and then we ask them a lot of questions, lots and lots of questions. And then also we palpate. True. Different no, points. And then take. some some um, some practitioners also do Western um, like orthopedic type tests. Mm -hmm. Or they take vitals, blood pressure, temperature, things like that. That's right, no. Thank mm -hmm. you for saying. Let's hear about OJ. Um, on your part or your method, uh, what do you know or uh, in determining cause of illness? Uh, well, in the massage work, that uh, part of what we do is we watch people walk. So mm -hmm. we we observe their gait, you know, observe the imbalances where things are off, um, and then for my energy work um it's a little more intuitive where 
I do this thing where I kind of connect to something, um, but I, I feel where I'm supposed to go and mm -hmm. I can feel it in my own body. And then something will tell me to go to the next spot and the next spot. And I kind of just follow whatever is guiding me when I'm working with a client. But as far as like diagnostic, um, just the walking is really all we use. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just the, the, uh, the, the feeling, the empathic feeling that I'm feeling in my body of where to, where things are stuck or where energy needs to be moved, but nothing outside of that. Wow, that's great. Now, at least I, I, I've heard about that. When you notice, when you saw, or, or, or when you speak about that, diba, the goal of that method is to understand more uh, your patient, huh? the condition of the patient by observation. Of the, uh, uh, the keyword here is observation. But what are you observing from from that person? No, probably on on different uh, aspect of healing modality, they might be concerned on certain aspect, no, or aspect of that person, and certain aspect of that person. Uh, for example, like for the chiropractors, for example, the right? the posture, no, so they will see how do the people start like also on the massage therapist no if they see that the shoulders are like this it's not balanced so they will try to balance it no so that that's their approach of healing no but for us no for us yes it is important for us to to see the condition of the patient it is only one aspect of of personality uh, of the person their body no and 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 all those things that you've said no it, it is dealing with the physical body through observation through palpation yes even the vital signs i don't know if you have already have read about the element that the vital sign also corresponds to the uh, five elements, right? Uh, the five elements are the earth, air, fire, and water, and spirit. No, in in vital sense, we have the blood pressure, uh, the, the temperature, the respiration. Uh, what else? Blood pressure, respiration, temperature, the pulse rate, and even the consciousness of the person. So when we when we get the blood pressure, of course, it is pertaining to the element of the blood or of the water. And when we get the respiratory rate of the person, it pertains to the element of the of the air. When we get the temperature, it pertains to the element of 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 the fire. Uh, and we get the uh, pulse rate. We 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 are uh, assessing or evaluating the element of the earth in in our body whereas the level of con the consciousness it means our spirit because without the consciousness even the presence of the four vital signs these vital signs are nothing without the spirit diba? um you know that condition of being a coma in a comatose diba? uh doctors are maintaining the vital signs within the body but the consciousness is gone on on a certain person although I, I will not discuss more of 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 this no uh I, I the reason why uh I, i'm using this topic is because i want you to go beyond the expectation of dealing with the body most of the lesson that you will read right now and on the following days it might focus on developing your skill developing your skill to to handle people to handle people no so it means we have a method of determining such illness or such activities of human being and what is inside them such as when you feel the pulse diba? when we touch 
a certain person what what kind of perception or, or, or what kind of feeling we we as 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 a healer are receiving diba when we touch a certain person what what do we observe um for example on the skin we can observe that the skin might be rough or smooth no we can either observe the skin could be uh soft or hard the texture no or either when we we touch a certain person um we might determine if the temp their temperature is hot or cold so there are many things that we could uh we could receive information by by simply touching them so these ident uh, these identifiers that we have when we touch you no know, it we, we we consider that also as a form of energy it is a form of energy that is manifested to the physical body of 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 a person so in determining the on that though this kind of energy um it it express itself as a vibration or frequency towards us no so it, most of the time our work as mangi hilot um we said that we are the balancer of energy although energy cannot be balanced or what i mean is energy is energy energy is the ability to to create work or to do work uh, uh it is not created nor can be destroyed but it can change form no so as energy meron class there are kinds of energy that is the potential energy and uh, uh active energy the kinetic and the uh, potential energy diba? uh we know that and then, ano ba yun? Tama nga ba? Sinasabi ko. I think I forgot. The working energy and the resting energy. The potential, the kinetic energy. And what kind of energy is the other? Para nalimutan ko na. Potential, kinetic. And I'm so pathetic. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the, I forgot the, <laughs> whatever oh i forget my lesson but start the moving energy and the resting energy and when energy gets moving the characteristic of that energy can be determined through vibration so it means our body also our body is an energy and when 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 a certain um organs or energy moves it creates movement and that movement called vibration so now last night i asked everyone or last early in the morning in your time i asked no sabi ko if we could determine the energy of the person and what their activity no whether they are uh whether they are i know whether they are sick or not no as we know that uh as a person this pulses no um is an activity of our internal organ aside from that activity of internal organ it it reflects our emotion no and do you know that our emotion can also affect the environment right so if ever if you enter a room full of happy people what kind of emotion will you feel diba? so you will feel also happy when you enter a room full of angry people i don't know what kind of emotion will will uh will you also feel but if you get to know why they are angry you might be also get angry diba? or 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 or, or it depends no 
So it means the activity of our body that reflects outside us could affect the outside world by making contaminating other people with with the energies or the emotions that you have towards them so the emotion that you have might be beneficial or malevolent to other people such as wh whatever we put inside our mouth i think i i said this last time whatever we put inside our mouth it might benefit or destroy our body but whatever comes out our mind or our mouth it might benefit or harm other soul because they will hear they will feel diba and like that so if in a person if if within a person we know how to determine their cause of illness so the question with that by by this kind of words that i've said how would you determine if the place in your area has a bad energy that is bad for yourself so this will be an individual question that we are going to discuss right now ang haba di ba ng introduction but actually i will that is an explanation of the question i am asking for both of you to participate ikaw april uh, or uh, papa oj papa oj talaga <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do you have anything to say who, who goes first ladies first ladies <laughs> first is okay <laughs> okay so you said it, the question was how do you know if your location or environment is um is bad, bad. Uh, full of bad energy or not healthy for a certain person mm. so sometimes i can just feel it or it's some kind of sense i can't explain where i just feel like i shouldn't be here in a certain place or situation um so I have a, like a story. It, it's actually about my husband feeling it. We were looking for an apartment to live at and we looked at a place, actually he went with his mom and both of them felt like that apartment complex was not a good place. It had, um, they just, could feel it. So around where I live, there was a lot of civil war battles and like Native Americans that used to live around here. So we're pretty sure there's a lot of, uh, there was a lot of death and things like uh -huh. that. Um, but them too felt like that apartment complex was not a good place for us to live my husband and, and i and our kids so we went somewhere else we chose a different complex uh -uh. A different place. but as far as i don't know you just feel it i can't explain it okay thank Thanks. you for that L later yeah. i'll i'll try to uh explain it okay oj <laughs> what about you how will you determine if a place is not healthy for you or for the person whom you love uh, similar, I, I think I can. You can feel it's very palpable, the energy in the air, how how much it moves, or how like thick it is when energy doesn't move. Or yeah, I have a story too. Um, in March, I moved in with my in-laws, mm -hmm. and uh, we in pandemic we were in Los Angeles and everything got shut down. So we moved to Austin and we were staying with them. And it was a very, it was, it was toxic. I don't like using toxic too often, but it was a very toxic environment. 
mm-hmm. where they were they always fought. Mm-hmm. She, the wife, would stay in her closet for, mm-hmm. for, for prayer mm-hmm. um, for hours on end. Uh, and the room that we were staying in, my 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 wife. This is my wife's father and her 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 uh, stepmother, but her her stepbrother did things to his sister uh-huh. uh, while she was asleep. And oh. so she moved out and um, we were staying in that room that it happened in. And so just the whole environment was just, it was, was very toxic. And um, it got to the point where it, we were unproductive like we were having arguments between us uh-huh. um, and then we ended up moving in November and it's like since we've been in our own space in our own environment it's like everything has been moving a lot mm. faster for us where we energetically we're more productive I'm actually producing for work again mm-hmm. uh, and uh, things have just kind of it's like one thing is leading to the next thing, to the next thing, in a, in a very positive way. And it's like our lives have almost been accelerating much faster now that we're not in an environment that is not conducive to our growth and our well-being. So, it's wow, sorry, sorry for for hearing that, but it's nice to know. No? It's nice thank to you, know. You. Actually, you you it is right. It is correct. We we use our feelings. No, our feelings. To, to determine if you notice that, if you notice that, you use your feelings. It is one function of, of, of the human being to feel because it is also part of, of the lower self because we, we are composed of many selves, not only just our physical body, our mental body, but we also have emotional body. And aside from that, we, we transcend or ascend into our higher self, which is composed of our uh, astral body, of our solar body, of our monadic body, and then we come united to the divine. No, uh, this is the reason why we could determine, because that energy of feeling is the one that becomes eternal. When you die, the feeling will remain, because you will left that feelings. To your loved one whom you love no because when we die this body will become a body even though how much hard i hit myself or stab myself no i cannot stab myself because i'm dead <laughs> but if other person will stop that no it will it will give no reaction it will not have a feeling sensation of pain sensation of whatever but that feeling is goes beyond our physical limitation no so we could use that feeling to 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 give us to other person or to give we give that to other person that they will also receive it so it is the energy of the place even though even even this place that you are living right now no even even the place that you are living right now um it has this kind of energy in motion that becomes the emotion that been stuck on the place so they are good what do you call that absorber a metal is a conductor of energy i forget the terminology no in every place parang they they use to accommodate the energies that we possess and even when we left this energy is being left in the place and it's stuck there as a memory that once in our life we've been there and if you are very sensitive towards that energy uh, those, those are people uh, those energy they convert that into as oh i feel some there is a presence of ghost etc etc no so even the dead people dead person when a dead person die 
Siyempre, dead na nga, die pa. <laughs> Sorry for that redundant terminology. If a person die, the, the spirit been uh, remembered by the place. So every time when we go to a certain place, uh, for example, my favorite position or location is in this, you might remember me, di ba? Or there are times that when you talk about a person who died, um, you will feel something of their presence such as the fragrance or 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 whatever no because those sensation the senses that we have the sense of taste the sense of smell sight ears and uh, and touch the feeling is is part of that activity of the spirit no it is the activity of the spirit so when we go to certain place when we go to certain place um sometimes we don't want to go there because you feel uncomfortable no you feel uncomfortable and and it's true no and those feelings of being uncomfortable to a certain area sometimes um it can be determined between our eyes no so don't just look at a certain place now okay it looks beautiful because the the material that the building that been built uh but the building has has been built with good quality it has good paint on it etc etc but try to observe the surroundings look at the place like if if it has a garden a front yard check for the plants how do the plants grow grow are they healthy or uh, or they are almost ano ba yun? Uh, fading away no nalalanta no or drying up if it is being taken care of so if you notice that probably there's something wrong with that house if we know that the earth can can heal herself and can regenerate herself but sometimes there are uh, there are opportunities that we as human could need to intervene such as on the plants we should take care of that or probably if you have animals if you have animals with you you observe their behavior you observe their behavior sometimes if animals are comfortable with a place it means diba, they are happy but if there are strange spirits or stranger coming even at a distance the do the, the dogs will bark diba even the, the 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 stranger doesn't come into your house just outside your house the dog will wow, 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 wow. it will bark no just moving out so even the cats and sometimes sometimes not only only those things but also children children has this uh th this this sensitivity towards malevolent i know malevolent what you call that spirits or or uh it doesn't mean if i tell uh, malevolent spirit na uh it, it is ghost no but sometimes people possess that thing that they are uh, children automatically I, I don't like that person because I feel that bad no the reason why those children are very sensitive because they they still remember who they are they are part of the spirit world when they come because they are from nothing and the mother and the father formed them and the mother give birth and give form to the child and they still remember their abilities and their power of sensing things no but when the time that they grow up they go to school those knowledge and ability have been trapped or, and been covered up by the new knowledge that they learn from school from the books from what they watch and so on and so forth no uh, so that's why sometimes children or babies are are are, are very powerful beings no uh, they still have their powers or they have still their abilities of determining things so in 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 this life no uh most of the time 
we are trapped with the concern of how to maintain the life force within our body. But sometimes, even how much we are good on healing arts, I think I discussed this last week, no? how much we are good on the healing arts and fix the problem within the person. But if we don't fix the environment, no? if, if we don't fix the environment, it can be still be toxic. It could be still poisonous for our soul. Actually, the one that we, uh, if we have this healthy soul or healthy mind, just forgive me, Del, kasi healing is parang talagang spiritual healing kasi, no? Kaya it's hard for me to to separate the concept of the soul into the health of, of an individual. So if we heal, if the soul is healthy, it will turn out that the body will also be healthy. No? Because in healing a body without a soul, we do not give twina to a dead person. Meron bang rule? We can give, we cannot give massage to a dead person. Or we do not coach the dead person on how to live. There, kaya nga, life coach. We coach the li life. It's not dead coach. I don't know if we could create that course, dead court, coach, coaching, not life coaching. But anyway, but seriously, since there is life coaching, the Hilut can be a dead coach. No? Seriously, uh, it's, I, I'm just making that word dead coaching. Pero it's not the body whom we are coaching, but we are coaching the spirit of the person, the soul of the person. No, so technically the body will not understand that if uh, their their soul is uh, is removed, detached from their body, but uh, the 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 soul has ability to communicate. So that's why. Um, in, in, in that, we do not only just communicate with, with the physical body, the internal organs, we, we determine the emotions, etc., etc. We can also communicate through our dogs because the dogs or the animals have their spirit as well. No? That is the reason why they are alive. And aside from that, we can communicate also to plant energies because they have a life, they, they, they have life, and even to the spirit of the place. Because that place has life. That's why, diba? If you uh, sometimes people, oh, this place is lifeless. No, there is no life. Probably, if you are what are the busiest uh, city in the state? New York, Las Vegas, ba? May, yeah. You know, for, for some people, that will be the uh, very lively place to live in because there are more activity. But if they go to a certain mountainous province, no, I don't know, they will say, oh, there is no life here because it is a remote, remote place. They will consider that no so it means by 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 telling that that word what kind of life you are creating no what kind of life you are living so it means each one of us each person has their own definition of life no we so it means we could not recommend all that time that this is the kind of living that you should have. It means the person has their own uh, mindset of what kind of life they want to live. That's why some people move out of their country and migrate to other country to find that life. No? And when they are they, there already in the America or on other part of the world where they go, um, they start to live a new life, no? to bring also some life force back to our homeland. 
no so it means th this life force is is depending on how our body will move it on on which place on which environment or the adaptability of the body to a certain place so the place is also important for us uh, to heal if it is compatible for us but what if no what if uh such as i will ask you naman again if a person has this ease or not feeling well um can you share to me the effectiveness of the modality that you use for example uh, uh, twina and massage therapy or how uh the yung life coaching could help uh, the simple dahil kasi yung life coaching di ba parang non touch siya talaga it's non contact uh healing it it does not it might not heal the 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 physical body but it heals the emotion and the mind no i want i want you to share those experience with me on how how you could make person feel better from this is april ladies first now <laughs> go ahead okay um Can you uh, say the question again? Uh, okay. Um, how <laughs> would you make a person uh, relief from illness that they have or discomfort? How oh, would you bring back comfort or relief to a certain person? Okay. So usually it's with acupuncture or whatever else modality cupping whatnot between a and uh, herbs it's if they can go back to whatever activities they enjoy doing and i feel like that's when they're happy or cured or whatever is that what you're looking for or something else yeah yeah that that's it it's okay uh, yeah. at least you share how you how you make uh, how you give relief to person that is suffering from discomfort yeah so a lot of people that i see they come in for pain whatever pain back pain neck pain like pain and all that stuff and um i know last week there were a couple of patients they've been in maybe five six times for treatment and then they're like really surprised that it's working like yeah usually by this day i'm already like oh my back hurts i can't move and but then, you know, they were able to be like, yeah, I was able to play with my grandkids or I was able to shovel the snow and it was great and I didn't feel bad afterwards, you know? Wow, thank you for that. No, we see that people comes to you have their own limitation. That's why they want to be free from that limitation and discomfort. So thank you, April. What about you, OJ? So... When I was doing massage, it was more, uh, are, you, are you familiar with myofascial? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so it was more myofascial release. Um, but uh, also with massage, there's a lot of contraindications mm -hmm. with stuff outside of like physical pain. But um, like April was saying, when it comes to physical pain, like for the most part, we can figure that part out. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, in my experience, um, it is, of course, it, it's mind, body, soul, and it's very much as psychological as it is physical. Mm -hmm. And so when I would work with my clients in the myofascial area, it was a, a lot of empowering them to take control of the things in their life. What else is going on in your life that may be causing this? Like, what are you doing that 
when uh, you know when you hurt your back, what did you do? What are you repeating over and over again? Why does it keep coming back? So it was really empowering people to look at what was going on in their life so they can figure out for themselves mm -hmm. what they need to change so that it doesn't continue to come back. Um, but the reason I moved into the coaching space was because when I was doing uh, the healing work, it was like people would come to me and want me to fix them mm -hmm. um, versus like with the coaching, it's like I'm, I'm working with people to uncover with them what is actually causing them discomfort in their life. I'm working with them to help them figure out for themselves what may be causing them blockages in life, what may be causing them to continuously get sick or ill uh, and of course, mind, body, soul. <clears throat> so a lot of the times it's, it's emotional stuff, it's, it's habits, it's patterns that are outside of the physical that may be causing them to experience being sick or ill or unhappy. Um, yeah. Yeah, thank you for that. No? So it means people come to us with different issues, either physical limitation emotional limitation mental limitation at least with mental or intellectual limitation they should go to school <laughs> but uh, sometimes we could give our own wisdom no we can give our own wisdom and knowledge to fill in the gap of what they need and even social limitation and spiritual limitations so this limitation um uh make them discomfort no so sometimes not all the treatment that we do could heal them or help them no help them so the boundaries here are the limitations and when you give treatment their sensations are being activated and re-empowered again to function so it means it is through their senses it is through their senses and sometimes the healing should also go not only on one sense alone, such as on the sense of touch. So it must be holistically. No? We could uh, use the entire senses in giving, in giving treatment. So not only touch, but we should also activate their taste. We should activate their smell. We should activate their sight, and we should activate also their hearing. So that is part of holistic healing that will uh, also affect the physical, emotional, emotional, mental, and social and spiritual aspect. No, such as we 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 hear that there. Uh, no, we know. No, last night Lakai is doing some uh, uh, cleansing uh, for bath. Uh, a bat mix, no? So it's made of salt and some herbs and essential oil. So when when we smell that, when Lakai is is doing that, probably I was overwhelmed with the with the aroma that it makes me fall asleep. But I control the sleep because I still have work to do until one a.m. No, sabi ko. That's why when I woke up, I really feel not not good because I fight that senses no i fight that that sensation so it means when you fight that sensation when you are asleep then if you fight that feeling uh expect there is an uh an adverse result on the other day so sometimes people do that all the time oh i still need to work i'm tired I need to rest but i have to stretch and flex myself in doing this work that's why they got some muscle pain they have this emotional pain and mental pain that become stress the occupational stress and, and so on and so forth no and for us as a healer we are there to 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 move to remove that energy to transform that energy that they are feeling from being stressful into relaxing but sometimes as an energy or healer or, or mangi healer no um it's not only always the body that we could deal with because if they went through again to the environment 
sickness will come back. No? So on, on the third lesson, on the third learning unit, we teach you to conduct simple ritual that involves all the senses, all the senses of, of, of a person uh, to participate in. So sometimes people come to you with a doubt, but because of the visuals, of the sounds, or, or of the scent that they are know, they will receive, they will completely receive your touch with 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 whole heart that they will be healed, no? And and that actions, no, that it doesn't necessarily you need to buy some sound system. You don't necessarily to to buy some uh, visual effects decoration in order to do that, no? A, a simple room will do, but your action will 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 allow the person receive what you are doing no if if you will read uh, if you will notice even on if you go through to the tawas method no we have this on the literal na we pass the paper through the no so the people see your action so what is oj or april doing why why he need to swipe off the paper up and down to the ano it is an action and movement that the people see. So while that person see you doing that, it process in her mind. Uh, probably the negative thought that they will tell is that person is crazy. No? Pero at least they know that you are healer. That the, the only explanation that we left, no, that is part of healing work. I don't understand why they are doing that, but that is for healing work. No, uh, this will help me. Even they look silly doing it, something like that. So they will accept what you are doing. Then while you perform, you utter either you might utter words of prayer, a simple prayer in your own words, or you might sing. No, you might sing a song, or just whisper, just whisper. Now. Even though they don't understand that, so on on lesson two or lesson three, we are discussing that those kind of prayer. It does not necessarily uh, need to be a Latin prayer or a foreign language. It can be your own language. So because when you speak, when you speak, there are different kind of speaking. Eh? You can shout. People will hear that. When you are shouting, speaking loudly, it means the whole public can hear you but there are sound that is or, or communication or speaking or talking on, on on a conversational talking which you could hear this example right now i don't need to shout so that my voice can be heard in texas and sang lugar nga ka april oh where, what place is you april virginia oh virginia no because i was asking what is va means vancouver I know Vancouver is in Canada. Yes, Virginia. Virginia and Texas, diba? It's nice because we have this technology that I could talk to you in a conversational manner, not in a shouting <laughs> manner, no? Or there is also whispering where it is a secret that you it requires distance like this. But sometimes whispering beyond that is bubbling the better is word na you bubbling it means you are talking to yourself only you could hear the words that you are saying so in that if the person hears you bubbling to yourself talking to yourself it means you are crazy talaga <laughs> no it means oh never mind he he is probably that person is talking to the higher self or what so it means there is a sound that the person could hear. So when you apply something such as essential oil to the paper or, or just oil, the person will uh, you are treating will also smell that. No, it involves it involves all the senses. Then when that paper touches the skin, they will feel the sensation. Oh, there is a light, cold, or hot, or whatever. 
uh, sensation they will feel. So all the emotions, no, not necessarily that you have the entire decorations in your ano and the entire sound effect. Your action, even the the action of rubbing your palm or clapping, it is a sound that that the person will perceive. You we can create that that environment no that the people uh will 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 capture because this physical body really trap us with our sensation it is hard for a person to unlearn the things what they have learned when people come to us they are relearning to unlearn in order for them to be reset or to reboot or to reform and to restore their wellness back. Sometimes, di ba, pagka our cell phones are are hanging up, it means there are congestion. What we need to do is to reboot, no? Or anong tawag dito? Meron pa refresh so that it could, ano, it could function again and again. So that is what happening. So that is the person, no? Pero in the environment, we could also do the same. We could re re change. That's why sometimes uh, we move our house or the, the uh, what do you call that? Uh, you, alam mo yung geomancy, yung feng shui, di ba? We, sometimes we rearrange the fun funeral, the furniture in according uh, that will make us feel comfortable according to the position. So there uh, on, on lesson Two, under the Kilobansa system, we also have that uh, a certain circle of ancestor which could be also used as uh, uh, in Geomancy or Feng Shui, Filipino Feng Shui, na uh, we, we position certain places on direction, on the eighth direction that is guarded by the ancestors, no? So I think this is all for now. Do you have any questions to ask? I think OJ have. I do. Okay. Um, so part of the um, the the environment, and you had mentioned how the environment is important because it's it it may be um, what is causing people to get sick. Uh, is that one of the big reasons why we don't do uh, uh, concierge work, house calls? Is because we don't want we want to make sure we have. Our environment, which we know is conducive to healing, versus their environment, which may be the reason they're getting sick in the first place. I think it is one. Yeah, yeah. No, no. The reason why we don't do housework is because we want that people to be responsible towards their own health. If we go to their house as a healer, it means we are tolerating their bad behavior of mm. being sick. No. We go to house healing, we go to their house when we are going to heal their house themselves. No? So we do the house cleansing, the blessing, to heal, to arrange the house. Because we could not see, determine the positioning of, of, of the ano if we, if we don't go to their place or if we don't go to their house. So that's the reason why we don't go to their house for healing instead we want them to learn the responsibility now they are really sincere that they want to be healed so they want uh, they, they will go to to our place no because here in the philippines we know naman uh, we know that there are uh, uh, in terms of massage or 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 heal uh, yeah massage work people become abusive that they will go beyond their their purpose of being healed they want to have a happy ending. I think it's it's worldwide. No? I, I, I talked to some uh, massage therapists also that it happens. It happens. No, Pero it doesn't mean that we cannot go. No, We cannot go. We can tolerate them because it's income. No, It's money. But it will be an extra work for you. It will be an extra work for us of, of going there. No, Pero it depends on how we'll how would you treat your patient or your client at home but most likely most likely i really encourage that we teach responsibility 
to to the uh, to the patient that they be responsible towards their health. Uh, I only go to the patient, no, uh, in their house. In times of uh, what do you call that? In times of not nearby death, but also when they are stroke. Uh, they, they are suffering from stroke. Because even right now, diba, uh, before, uh, here, uh, maternity or giving birth, uh, the manghihilot go to their house. Pero nowadays, the pregnant woman comes to the lying in, to the hospital. So they can manage that. They can manage to go, even the pregnant woman. So for me, uh, here in the Philippines, in the uh, manghilot is not allowed anymore to to do the uh, birthing birth attend attending to birth no so na lessen ang function natin as manghilot here in the Philippines. I hope it answer your question, OJ. Yes, you did. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Mer uh, yeah, one more question. Uh, what's your opinion on uh, or in your experience of uh, eczema and why is it so prevalent in filipino culture eczema no actually because of the food <laughs> it's because of the food that they eat so when you have eczema diba, um, you try to cleanse your intestine intestine because there are so many inside your intestine that is not being flushed away and then aside from that is the respiration uh, so it means we have to clean the, clear the lungs. Uh, drinking a lot of water could help. No, healthy, uh, healthy eating fibrous uh, food would would help. No, and doing the royal flushing or enema could also help. No, um, we 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 push away all those garbage inside our body if we. If we do that, no, so it means if I'm going to treat that eczema, uh, it, no matter how much of facial cleanser or beauty products, if you apply, it won't help. It will just heal the wound of the eczema, no, but afterwards it will come again. Pero if, if your treatment goes inside the body and the behavior, no, for sure, it will be cleansed out. It will be healed. No, it will be healed. So sometimes our healing does not only take outside medication. Usually, the, the in terms of herbal medicine, no, uh, herbal medicine. There are two types of application of herbal medicine. One is internal. You take it either through capsule, either to tablets, either through tea or 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 whatever. No, intake syrup. Or application, uh, ex external application that we apply towards the skin. So as the nourishment of our skin, in nourishing our skin, so we put lotion to nourish our the outside of our, our body. It nourish, but we also need to nourish inside it. So on eczema, there are certain organs that is needed to. To, to deal with such as the lungs and the intestine for that no thank you certain illness yun po is there anything else okay so with that ikaw, uh, april do you have questions No more? No, I'm good. Okay, so with that, I, I, I want to thank you for coming to our class today. And I hope all these words that I say could help you in your journey towards becoming Hilat Binabailan. So see you next week. Bye. Love you all. Thank you so much. Have a good Bye. Week. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah. You want to say bye, Lily? Bye bye. Bye bye, baby. Oh yeah, kid baby. Bye bye. This bye. is my daughter. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said bye. -bye.